Hello and welcome to episode 28 of the Irish Bookkeeping and Payroll Podcast. I'm your host Nielsen Denver and in this show, what are day books and how important they are? All the business's day-to-day transactions need to be recorded somewhere. Sales invoices, credit note, purchase invoices, supplier credit notes, bank payments, bank receipts, cash paid in and cash paid out, and petty cash transactions. In this modern day of computerized bookkeeping software, we forget why we are performing a task in our software. Do you ever ask, why are you entering a transaction in a particular way? Well, it goes back to the days of pen and paper and the original day books of customer invoices day book, customer credit notes day book, supplier invoices day book, supplier credit notes day book, cash day book, which in today's world records more than just cash, the petty cash day book and the journal day book. These day books are known as the books of prime entry or the books of first entry as from these books all other financial information is created. When you enter a supplier invoice in your bookkeeping software, you are using the purchases day book. When you print out a list of supplier invoices for a month, this is the equivalent of a supplier invoices day book, except your account software has done all the hard work by analyzing everything for you and also totaling everything for you. No calculator is required with bookkeeping software. But you still need to be able to understand the information on the report. Does the values and analysis make sense? If your report tells you you spent 10,000 on toilet rolls, is this correct? Or should all those supplier invoices have been coded to stationary costs? You must understand the purpose of what you are doing. You must understand daybook's importance and why their modern day computer equivalent can still be wrong. In olden days, before computers, we had books that we wrote in and analysed daily. Hence the term daybook. So every day we recorded all our business transactions in one of our seven daybooks. These daybooks were also called the books of first entry or the books of prime entry, as the information collected in the daybooks is where all the values for sales and expense analysis will be taken from. If there are errors in the daybooks, then those errors will pass through the entire account system. All the sales to customers are recorded in the Customer Invoice Daybook, which is also known as the Sales Invoices Daybook. If a customer returns some goods to us, we recorded that in our Customer Credit Note Daybook, which is also known as the Sales Credit Notes Daybook. If a customer paid us, then we recorded this in the Cash Daybook. All the purchases we made from our suppliers were recorded in the Suppliers Invoice Daybook, which is also known as the Purchases Invoice Daybook. If we returned some goods to a supplier, we recorded those in our Supplier Credit Note Daybook. If we paid a supplier, we recorded this in the Cash Daybook. For small purchases such as tea and biscuits, we have a petty cash daybook to record petty or small value transactions. The final daybook, the journal daybook, was to record any other transactions that did not fit into any of the other daybooks. Things like accruals, prepayments, depreciation, corrections would be some of the transactions recorded in the journal daybook. The headings in these handwritten daybooks are similar in each daybook. The date, the details, the supplier or customer name, the folio number referring to the supplier or customer transaction number, an account number referencing referencing the supplier or customer account, total, the total value of the transaction, analysis headings, the actual heading names will differ from daybook to daybook. The journal daybook is a special case where the analysis columns are the debit column and the credit column. From the daybooks, each individual customer and supplier account will be updated. And from the total of each individual customer account, we will get a debtors listing. And from the total of each individual supplier's account, we will get a creditors listing. 
from the day books each nominal ledger account will be updated and from the list of nominal ledger accounts a trial balance will be created and from the trial balance a profit and loss and balance sheet will be created. So now you know what a day book is and also how important it is that whether you are using pen and paper or a computerized book system, bookkeeping system if the information entered into the day books is incorrect all the reports you create will also be incorrect. In another presentation we will look at each day book individually and explain the relevance of each day book to the overall bookkeeping system. A video version of this podcast can be found on YouTube on the Help for Bookkeepers YouTube page. That's www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash help for bookkeepers. And help for bookkeepers is all one word. And the audio the audio only version can be found at bookkeepingpodcast.ie. You can download more podcasts from the Bookkeeping Podcast Archives or subscribe and download us for free on iTunes. And while you're there, vote for us and give us a review to let us know how we're doing. And again, thanks for listening.